Dan Barajas was found hiding in Guadalajara, Mexico today. He was put on a plane, flown back to the U.S., where he's now behind bars here at the San Benito County Jail. Uh, when I heard the news this morning, it was shocking. My cousin's never going to come back, but this really just helps with the pain. After four years on the run, this man, Jose Barajas, has been arrested for the murder of 18-year-old Ariana Zendejas of Hollister. His arrest coming as both a shock and relief to the Zendejas family. <laughs> and that, to finally know that, <laughs> he's found, it really helps relieve my parents and everyone in our family. Police say after the 2014 shooting, Barajas fled to Mexico, kidnapping his then girlfriend in the process. Last year, police got credible information about his possible location in Guadalajara. The FBI and Mexican police got involved and just this week raided his home. We received word two days ago that it was potential that he had been um, located. Um, when his identity was confirmed, um, he was contacted outside of his house um, in uh, the state of Jalisco. Investigators say Zendejas, who would have turned 23 next week, was the unintended target of Barajas. Her mother says Barajas must pay for what he did. The pain, she says, has been overwhelming. Y él tenía y tiene que pagar lo que hizo. Porque yo no quiero que a ninguna niña, a nadie, Vuelvo a pasar lo que le pasó a mi hija porque es un dolor muy grande. Now, because Jose Barajas is a U.S. citizen, he was immediately brought back to this country without having to go through that lengthy extradition process. Dan, Aaron. Thank you very much, Felix. Jose Barajas is expected to be arraigned on those murder charges in a Hollister courtroom next week.